Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the canyon. Susan says hello. It is a beautiful morning. And the only reason I mention that, as I've said this before, time doesn't exist in YouTube, is that this is a quick review. This quick review was scheduled and slated for any of the myriad number of rainy days we had in the past couple of weeks. And then the U.S. Postal Service, they let me down. Uh, it took... It took 13 days to get this to me from New Jersey. So, as loyal followers of the channel will know, I have a, I have a relationship with technology. Uh, I'm sure either the Germans or the Japanese would have a word for this where you have both a, like, uh, I guess, I guess we could loosely call it a fascination with technology, but at the same time, a, a resistance not to the point of a repulsion, but a resistance. Like, uh, I have gotten into near physical altercations with not one, but two CNC machines because they would not do what, uh, what I wanted them to do. So I will just make it myself in less time. You know, I have that woodworking background and I fulfill the Bill Gatesian uh, philosophy, well... Could be urban legend at this point, but he, he said famously, if you wanted something done quickly, give that job to a lazy person because they will find the easiest way to do it. I, I, I personify this. I will find the easiest way to do something, which is why when someone uh, advises that I do something in a way opposite of the way that I do it, uh, I, I bristle because their way might be better, but it's not easier, nor is it faster. So... This guy right here, the Epica PC-459, I own four of these, and I've owned four of these for a long, long, long time. They are kitchen scales, and uh, as you can see by the, the mat section in the middle, uh, they've just been excuse, exclusively used to corner balance RC cars for what has to be coming up on 15 years. The problem with that is when you're using kitchen scales that run on two AAA batteries. Uh, sometimes you don't use them for a long time. This one operates pretty well, but two of the four are, uh, they've gotten a little fluky. Uh, I continually have to take a wire brush and try to clean off the little spring terminals for the batteries to get them to operate. So I was like, well, I guess I'm going to have to buy new scales. And I've had these for so long that I honestly, I think they were about $8 each. You can kind of find some kitchen scales in that, but you're usually looking at, honestly, about $12, $13, $14 dollars each. And I have to buy four because, uh, I don't know, either a burgeoning OCD or I wouldn't trust that they wouldn't be the same height. Anyway, I would have to buy four, and then I would have two perfectly functional kitchen scales sitting on the side. These also only have an 11-pound capacity, which is, which is fine, because the scales that we're going to be talking about today have a smaller capacity, but thanks to, thanks in large part to, to you out there in tubes land, uh, this was made possible as, uh, there are a number of large hobby sites, we shall leave them nameless, that have direct Amazon storefronts just under different names. So when you order from a couple of these Amazon storefronts, you're just ordering from the big hobby storefronts. So this was cheaper on there for whatever reason. I don't know if there's a map system. And then I, I got my first affiliate. They just pay you in gift cards. I don't know. Is there something is there something unsavory about being paid in gift cards? Or am I putting too much thought into it? I don't know. But I've seen these on the internets. We are going in together. Uh, that was the first opening of the box. I did read the outside of the box and to see that these run on a battery, on a, on a, on a coin cell called a 2450. And the 2450, for those not familiar, the 2450 is, is big. I wish, I wish I had a coin, but I guess we can do a little bit better than a coin. Like 2450s are big over an inch and they're, uh, -huh. uh I happen to have a bunch of these because, 
I have a number of bicycle power meters that run on these. And why this is relevant is I want to say that the back of the box says something about, is it 80 hours? 30 hours continuous use. That's fine. 2450s, from what I've found, th these are very much Amazon off-brand, are some of the most expensive coin cells you can buy. So let's hope that's not a problem. As I said, I don't use a corner balancing scale too much. But uh, in a name brand, these can easily hit $5 a piece. This runs on two AAAs. It's had some Rayovax in there for a long time. Usually by the time the batteries come out of these, you know how batteries will have that date of expiration or best used by stamp on them? We'll be like two years past that. Like I'll pull these batteries out and they'll say like 2018 because like I say, we don't use it very often. So let's hope that not using this very often will lean into the strength of the 2450s. Tiny little, tiny little guys. They are not numbered or labeled. That's it. So apparently it says batteries included. When I do reviews like this, I like to bring you along for the whole thing. We have, we have the app installed on the thing that's doing this. So it's installed in there. And then I also happen to have, and this, this thing will not uh, be, make for great photography, but I have a, a very, <laughs> this is an iPhone 8. This is one of the backup cameras. The, the screen is held together with tape. You can see some large cracks up there. This was one of my kids' phones, but there, there is the app. It's already pre-installed. I have not even launched the app. This, this phone is of an age that it essentially needs to be plugged in all the time. So if it will work on that, it's going to work. Now, it does mention uh, that the scales need to be calibrated prior to use. Maximum weight limit of 2,000 grams each scale, which should be plenty. I don't think I have anything putting down four and a half pounds per corner. Uh, we do have... We have a section right over here. That there'll be a there'll be a camera setup move here because the original section. Okay, some some. For those of you familiar with Canyon reviews, the, this will seem like par for the course. For anyone else, bear with me. Uh, I built the building that I'm standing in right now. The building is not level uh, because we didn't level the ground sufficiently when we built the floor. It's on a we're on a wood floor. And the building basically slopes from back to front about, I would say, two inches. Now, two inches over 25 feet is not bad for an idiot. But then this idiot, this bench, is two pieces of the flooring cut out. So I have an eight foot by eight foot bench. So it's built, it's just leveled off of the, the timbers of the walls. So the whole thing slopes. So over here to the side, I have a platform that has been built up and leveled, so it is level in on 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 the X and the Y axis. So we have a level place to put the scales down because should you be using something like this or something like this, and you don't use it on a on a surface that is completely level, it's basically not going to work. Uh, it's going to give you numbers that are crazy. Uh, if you're using a board to put your, your corner balancing scales on, get your vehicle on it and just lift one corner of it like a few millimeters and watch the numbers just go all over the place. So it needs to be level. I am now frantically looking around because I realized when I had that flipped over for a second, this is the kind of thing you spin with a coin. The workshop is not full of coins. But luckily what we do have is the, uh, the motor mounting plate from an Enduro SE. Which, uh, so the batteries are pre-installed, which is, you know, you would hope for a little, uh, plasticky pull thing because, uh, batteries pre-installed and just sitting, uh, that gives me concern. $20. Well, I buy cheap ones, so I'm not using $20 worth of batteries. 
but there is the potential that these are just going to need to be replaced right off the bat. I don't know how long these were sitting. Short press the button at the bottom to power on the scale. Oh, okay. Let's just go, uh, let's, let's go over to where the scale pad is. We move here to the second setup where I, I don't like cuts, but we've had to cut here. And you will notice that the, the left front is, uh, just zooming around. And if I tear it to clear it, 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 it doesn't do anything. There we go. Oh, nope. And there it goes. There goes the creep. So I have met what I've done is I've measured this out. I grabbed the, the nearest vehicle and I, and I measured out the corners, but, uh, my, my confidence has already, uh, hit the floor based on this because it's either going to give a wonky number or it's going to give no readout at all. Let's, let's see what we get. Yeah, and uh, as anticipated. So there are numbers that one would expect, but the, the left front uh, has nothing. So, like I say, in the spirit of full disclosure, because when we, when we get a defective product, we, we do everything that we can to make sure that we can fix it. Do I already regret not just buying more kitchen scales? I kind of, I kind of do. Let's, let's, let's not lie about it. So here is the aforementioned kitchen scale. Oh, let's just move dead guy here. Let's tear this guy. Here is a bin full of a, an assortment of things. It's got fishing weights. It's got RC car parts. It's got AA batteries. And we put it on there and we get 2,004 grams. How about 2,000 dead. It wants one kilogram and we have assembled a one kilogram weight. So calibrate the scale. We're going to try calibrating these and then uh, I'm going to realize I wasted everyone's time, including my own. Uh, calibration. Please kick Click on the scale to be calibrated. Left front. Make sure there are no objects next to the plate. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I believe I click next. So... It appear, I mean, it looked like it was reading uh, the left front scale. There we go. I, I expect nothing of this. I'm just going to assume I get a defective set of scales, but, you know, we, we try. Yeah. Well, okay, let's try a different one. I'm not saying that this is the experience everyone should expect, but what did I say, right front? So if this one calibrates on the, okay, that's, see, that's not good. So it said, hold five seconds to reset. Okay, left front is gone. This, this really dovetails in well.
Okay, now right front has, has just gone out. Okay, left front is still slow blinking. Yeah, left front is gone. Uh, now two of the three are blinking. Yeah, we're we're in the we're in de we're we're in the fun zone. Do do I regret? Yeah. I regret this deeply. All right. Well, I am going to, uh, you know, I, I don't want to have this run for 20 minutes of me uh, trying to, I, I guess, maybe try to start all the way over. I don't know. Maybe try to get it to forget all the scales. Uh, I mean, already. I wish I had just bought kitchen scales. Uh Okay. We'll see what happens, you know. Chuck this one up in the category of failure. I tried resetting it. I tried recalibrating it multiple times. I changed the battery. It, nothing. N none of it matters. Uh, this, this scale is defective. All of the other three scales calibrated instantly. They, they go to sleep almost immediately. This is supposed to be controllable via the app. Uh, you know, I, we, we have to chalk this one up to bad luck. But the, the left front is my... Uh, I got a dead left front. Error. 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 Now, now it, now it, it does, it does, it does. Not, oh, and it's already lost itself again. So, uh, I, you know, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. It, this is, this is a problem. Um, I'm assuming everyone else has just had uh, an easy time with this. The setup on it is, I mean, it seems straightforward enough, provided that you don't get defective equipment. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll go through this again. We'll do it again. We'll ship it back. We'll get the money. We'll wait another two weeks or will we? I don't know. Honestly, that, that, that confluence of, I hate technology and I love technology. This, this is the peak of that. Um, I'm used to my sheets of paper and my kitchen scales and I tried to, move here up into the future and was, was not rewarded. It's already, it's, it's already gone to sleep again. So I just got, I got one defective scale out of four, which is not a great, that that's not great. Um, that's a 75% success rate. Uh, so I can't, I can't give you a review. We are where we are. Negative 50, negative 40. Yeah, I mean, I think that's indicative right there. We're at like negative 25, and it's just jumping around. On a perfectly level surface, so with known weights. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, everybody. You know, I guess it comes down to it's all content. Uh, this is the first ever failed quick view. Probably not the last. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm glad I could provide you with uh, absolutely nothing. Uh, I'm going to put a disclaimer in the title and the video. This is a failure and uh, nothing good comes of it. But uh, if you did watch through to here to just to experience the frustration of another human being, I thank you for that. Please do tune in for what comes next. Uh, I hope it turns out better than this. This is... Man, what a lovely uh, chirping of the birds morning just absolutely ruined by...
by defective technology. I should know better. I should, uh, I should not go chasing waterfalls. I should stick to the rivers and the lakes that I'm used to. I should have made an effort to replace my Epica scales. Uh, this is one of those things. This falls in line with the ISDT ESC70 where uh, people have gotten it to work. Mine is an absolute steaming pile of garbage. And it, there's there's what I call in simple terms loss of confidence where if I get another one, if I were to order another ISDT EC, ESC70 or another set of these corner balancing scales, uh, there will always be something in the back of my mind going, well, how long until it fails. So you might see these again. You might not. Hopefully I'll see you all again. Uh, we try to stay upbeat around here at least, at least a little bit. Uh, I bid you adieu, everyone. Do tune in for the next one, et cetera, et cetera.